Hangovers suck. They're the worst. Hello. I am going to do a very minimal get ready, get to know me because I had a rough night last night. Went out, recorded that, and just didn't love the footage. So we're going to redo it. So this is going to be a really short get ready with me slash get to know me where I answer a couple questions and just let you in on who I am. And pardon the mess that is behind me. I went out last night, had a rough night, and I've had a rough morning slash afternoon. So without further ado, I'm going to try to walk you through what I'm doing, but I make no promises. C plus collagen deep cream by Dr. Dennis Gross because we need help today. Where did I grow up? I grew up in San Antonio, Texas, which the next question is where am I now? And I'm in San Antonio, Texas. It's my first best friend. She is still my friend. Her name is Sabrina. I'm not going to give you her last name, but she's still a really good friend of mine. And we actually just talked the other day. How tall are you? I am 5'2". Tiny but mighty. Dogs or cats? Dogs. Which my dog is why that door is not closed because when he wants to, he will barge in. What year were you born? I was born in 96, so I am 23 years old. Are you in or have you gone to college? Yes, I graduated this last spring from UTSA and I have a bachelor's in business administration with a concentration in cybersecurity. I'm just putting primer on my face so I can put concealer on and just let it sit under my eyes because I need to hide my rough night a little bit more. My favorite drink? Water. Especially after last night, it's water. Wearing perfume, what scent is it? Amber Musk by Erin is my new favorite. Before that, it was Black Nirvana by Elizabeth and James. Tea or coffee? Tea because I just drink coffee to enjoy the taste. It doesn't actually wake me up or anything. I'm gonna do my brows with the Anastasia Brow Wiz in soft brown and taupe. And then I'm gonna fill them in with the what is this called? Oh, perfect brow pencil in taupe. What are your life goals? To be happy and to do careers and things that would help me be happier. What sports do you play? Have you played? I didn't play sports that were like the typical like kick a ball around sports. I did swimming when I was younger and then figure skating, I did cheerleading, and I did um, martial arts, taekwondo, and MMA. Oh, and gumdo, which is sword fighting, basically. Have any books you read changed your life? I want to say yes, but I don't know. What the last one was um i did read the subtle art of not giving a fuck we'll go with that one because that was a really good book i liked it a lot it was a little self-helpy the lighting's gonna be going in and out i'm sorry now i can't care enough to put lights up right now so we're just gonna we're just gonna make it work and address the elephant in the room now Favorite movie? I don't really have a favorite movie. I have movies that I thoroughly enjoyed, but I don't know. I guess the closest one to a favorite would be Silence of the Lambs. How many languages do you speak and how well? I speak English and Spanish. I'm learning Russian and French. And I want to say that I'm anywhere close to fluent with either of those, but with regards to like French, I can get by enough. Single or taken? I am taken. Idea of a dream date. Oh, 
there's two there's the dog um there's two i have the idea where i want to go have a nice night out and a nice night in in would be like super lounge clothes and just kind of cooking food and watching netflix night out is let's go out to dinner kind of walk around downtown or pearl area and just enjoy each other's company super super simple how long was your longest relationship i am in it now we are going on two years in a month i do little dots everywhere how would you describe your fashion sense minimal anybody that knows me will tell you i pretty much just wear jeans and t-shirts and i can glam that up or keep it casual but i like simple hi come here he's the cutest hi come here hello my baby This moved because I moved. Because my dog is here now and I had to show you him. So this arm is petting the dog. What's my go-to hairstyle? Um, pretty much what I have right now. It's what's left of a blowout. I will either straighten it and let it kind of get wavy and just wear that or I'll curl it and let it just kind of fall over the next three or four days. How many siblings do I have? I have one little sister. She is three years younger. What's my go-to fast food order? Well, I'm just taking setting powder and dusting it under my eyes basically and where I just applied concealer. Um, I don't really eat fast food. I, I do, but I don't. I have um, a sensitive stomach so it's not always the best food for me but I would say it's probably Whataburger and it's probably a burger with fries. Do you use Mac or PC? I have a Mac but before I got it I was using PC. I'll say I'm indifferent because I really really like Mac now that I have one but if I had to get a PC it wouldn't be the end of the world. I'm gonna take couple of shades from Tartlet and Bloom, mainly just Sweetheart and Smarty Pants and just kind of make my eyes look a little bit more alive. What's my most memorable vacation memory? That sounds weird. I went to San Francisco a year ago and went, I had two from there. I went to the Museum of Ice Cream, which was the best little surprise. And then I went to a restaurant on I believe it's California Street I don't know the cross street though and it's called Cesario's and if you're ever in San Francisco I would highly highly recommend it it was the best Italian food I've ever had and I think about it very very often what are my morning evening routines I guess you could say this is like a morning routine it's a 2 2 p.m. routine <laughs> Because I've been sleeping. Um, I don't really have things I religiously do. I get up, wash my face, brush my teeth, go through like skincare, and then do makeup. And then in the evening, I just take all my makeup off and just make sure I really get in there and scrub it off. Because I don't want any of that lingering. Any bad habits? Yeah, drinking too much. You know, uh, that was a once in a blue moon I'll drink as much as I did and regret it so much um I pick at my skin when I get a pimple I am a picker it's not my finest moment that's one thing about you we wouldn't know is the next question I have a tattoo it's on my ribs right here and yeah it's my little cup secret I fell asleep during my rib tattoo which is how I found out but 
my pain tolerance is higher than normal. Favorite Netflix show? I go through a couple. I really like Mindhunter. I just finished that one. The Office, of course. And then it's technically a Netflix show, but it's also technically Hulu. Uh, Impractical Jokers is what I'm currently watching. It's my comic relief to life, basically. What's your favorite genre of film and why? Probably horror movies because yes, they're scary, but I actually think they're kind of funny. So maybe I messed up, but I don't know. It just doesn't feel that scary ever. And half the time it's horror movies have gotten to the point where they're comical because of the fact that they're predictable to some degree. So if I can have a scary movie that I can't go through the whole thing and be like, this, this, and this is gonna happen, then I'm impressed. Your dream job as a kid, photographer, which I am a freelance photographer now. So it's kind of cool. I have another job as well, but I do freelance photography. It's my coffee order, a iced blonde latte from Starbucks. Very simple. So I took the Smashbox contour kit and just kind of dusted it where I put the uh, Fenty Amber Stick contour and then I'm just taking this True Match Lumi Glotion by L'Oreal as like a little highlighter just to make my skin look a little more alive. The next one is how many countries have I traveled to and I have not left the United States. The closest that I got was Hawaii but I want to go to Iceland and a couple places in Europe so I'm hoping to be able to go very soon. So the next question is, do I have any pets? And yes, I do. You just saw him. He is wonderful and beautiful. His name is Tiki. And he was adopted from the Humane Society about 16 years ago. So I've had him most of my life. And then we're going to take Fenty highlighter. And we're going to use lightning dust and just kind of in a little bit more pet peeves i have a lot but it's <laughs> i'm very opinionated uh but it's mainly just rude people like just don't be rude there's no reason to be rude what do i do in my free time this if i'm not doing this then i'm taking pictures i'm dusting blush on my cheeks i'm doing pictures playing with my dog or doing um, like tabletop games with my friends. We do D&D, &D, which is where we're going tonight after work. And then we do Call of Cthulhu. And then there's another game that I don't remember the name of that we, we just started doing it. Any weird quirks? Yeah. When I am just standing around anxious, I fiddle with hair ties and I will do this with my fingers all day. And it's in, like a nervous tick, I guess, but yeah, I fiddle, I fidget all the time. That's scary at times, so I don't know how much talking I'm actually gonna do when I start applying it. What's my favorite color? Um, pink, black, and neutrals. Social media are you addicted to? Instagram and YouTube. I don't know if YouTube is technically social media, but I really, really like watching people on YouTube. You get along with your family fairly well. It, it's gotten better in the last couple years. When I was growing up as a teenager in high school, it was really rough, but it worked better. The biggest struggle you overcame? Anorexia. Through high school, I was severely anorexic and kind of like my first year of college too. But I made the decision my junior year of high school to find a therapist and kind of help myself get over it because I took a psychology class and was shown what the effects of anorexia long term were on your body and how everything starts to fail and I got scared and so I've been with that therapist since and I'm significantly better I can't see my ribs anymore and there's days where it's very hard but I don't know, it's, it's worth it in the end. It's so worth it. I, don't, I have more energy and I feel alive. Monsieur Big Mascara by Lancome. 
don't know how I feel about it yet. I'm just trying it out. I've had it maybe a week or two. Going out with friends, describe your night. Depends on the friends. Last night we went drinking and I'm still feeling the effects of that. Other nights, it's probably what I'm doing tonight, which is hanging out and doing D&D &D or game night. This has been my best friend for the last couple hours. Pure water. This one was favorite worst subject in high school. I'm gonna kind of extend that to college as well. In high school, I loved English and just writing. I hated math. And in college, I loved my science courses and my, obviously my degree courses, but I absolutely hated statistics, accounting, and finance. They were brutal, horrible, and awful. I had a wonderful accounting professor and I went to community college before university because it's so much cheaper. <laughs> wonderful accounting professor but I hated the subject and then stats my first professor I had to take stats three times uh, one two and three my first professor was absolutely horrendous my second was online so it was pretty chill and then third the material was just really really rough I said it in a video that was like the one class that I failed an exam in and took that pretty hard. The last one is who is my role model and to a degree it's my mom. Uh, my mom has had a very interesting life and so I do like to learn from her but it's also my cousin. Her name is Lindy and I've always looked up to her. It's not new but I think she's wonderful and so that's it urban decay all night sledding spray and that's it we got ready i look more alive oh wait chapstick this is just a rose salve that i like to use and i'm hoping my head goes back to normal soon because still feels bad and I've already taken medicine so I'm gonna have breakfast tacos 2 30 p.m. breakfast tacos <laughs> and just kind of chill out a little bit so thank you so much for watching I hope that this was some level of entertaining and you got to learn something about me if you want to know anything specific drop it down below and I'll see you in the next one bye guys we can't we can close so close so intimate <laughs>